Hello, it's Sonia from The Pretty Stitch, and today we are going to be making a cardigan for an 18-inch doll, or where I live in the United States, so we call them American Girl Dolls, but there's a whole bunch of different 18-inch dolls. Uh, I know there's the Canadian Girl Doll, the Australian Girl Doll, I think there's ones called My Life, I mean there's so many different ones. So this little cardigan should fit most 18-inch dolls. And to make this project, I am using an H hook or a five millimeter. And you're gonna wanna use DK weight yarn. And the yarn that I am using, I'm actually recycling an old project. So this was a cardigan that I made, I think probably for my daughter, but the color just looked pretty not good on her. So I thought it'll look cute on a little doll. So I'm taking it apart. I call it recycling, so. Then this yarn, I believe, was Karen Simply Soft, and I, I know it's labeled worst in weight, but to me, it's, it seems a little bit more like a DK weight, so I think it'll be, it should work out pretty well. So this cardigan is made top down, so what that means is you're going to be making it, you know, from the neck and working your way down. So to start, we are going to be making foundation single crochets, and you are going to work 36 foundation single crochet. So if you've never made foundation single crochet, you're in the right place. And if you can make a regular single crochet, you can make foundation single crochet. So I've got my loop on my hook. You're going to chain two. And then you're going to work in the second chain from your hook and insert your hook in that chain. Pull up a loop. Just like a regular single crochet, you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through two. So what we've done is created a little chain here. And so to work the second one, you're going to insert your hook right back in that chain. Pull up your loop and do the same thing. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And I like foundation single crochet for making um, garments, whether it's for, you know, people or <laughs> dolls, because it's a little bit flex, like stretchy. So I just find it to be a little bit more comfortable, uh, nice to work with. So we're gonna continue and work 36. So this is number three. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm gonna continue making the rest of my foundation single crochets. And again, you wanna have a total of 36. So I will see you when I have 36. All right, so I have completed my 36 foundation single crochets right here. So now we are going to, and you can see, you know, it's a little bit stretchy, which is really nice. So we're gonna get ready to do row two. So we've already completed row one. So for row two, you are going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. And you can see we have our row of single crochets and row one is going to be the right side. Just so you know, there is a right side and there's a wrong side and this is the wrong side. So all odd rows are the, e or, ugh. odd rows are the right side and even rows are the wrong side. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, <laughs> We've chained one, we've turned. We're gonna single crochet right in the same stitch. And we're gonna single crochet in the next two stitches. So we'll have a total of three. And then in our next stitch, we are going to work single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So this is gonna help create some shaping. So we've got our single crochet, I'm chaining two and single crochet. And I apologize if you hear some noise. We are all home for obvious reasons and so it's kind of hard to find a little quiet spot. I have three kids and I got one gaming in the other room and you know it gets a little excited. So if you hear that, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so anyway, we've got our single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And now we are going to single crochet in our next seven stitches. So here is stitch one, two, three, So we have worked seven single crochet 
and now we are going to in the next stitch work single crochet chain two single crochet again so there's our single crochet we're chaining two and we're going to single crochet in the next stitch so after that we are going to single crochet in our the next 12 stitches so stitch one and this would be considered, I guess it's raglan shaping or raglan. I'm not sure how to say it, but that's what we're doing. So we've got two. So I'm going to keep going till I have 12. Okay, so I have worked my 12 single crochet. So as you can see, we're starting to create some shapes. So this is actually the back. This is going to be the side or like the shoulders here. And then this is the front. So now we're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet again in our next stitch. All right, so we've completed that section. Now we need to work seven single crochet in the next seven stitches. So stitch one, stitch two, three, four, oops, we've got a split situation. Sometimes this yarn does like to split. So four, five, six, and stitch seven. And then in our next stitch, I'm sure you've guessed it, we're going to work single crochet, chain two, single crochet to work on our shaping here. And then we should have three stitches left, which we do. So you're gonna work one stitch in the last three stitches and then row two will be complete. And if you see that sometimes that happens, you just pull that guy and that takes care of that little situation there. So now we've completed row two. So you can see the shaping here. This is the back. These are gonna be the shoulders. And then this is the front, the front section here. So we've got our neckline established. Okay, so after row two, you will have a total of 40 single crochet stitches. And then you have the four chain two spaces. So now we're getting ready for row three. So you're going to chain one. Turn your work, so this is a right side row. And we are going to single crochet in that same stitch. Single crochet in the next three stitches until we get to our chain two space. And then once you get to your chain two space, you're going to work in that space. So here we are, we're in that, so you can see the little space right there. We're going to work single crochet chain two, single crochet. And we're gonna continue to do this all the way around. So I've got my single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So now I'm going to single crochet across until I get to my next chain two space and I'm going to work single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the next chain two space. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way around for round three and I will meet you back at the end of round three. Okay, so I've completed round three. So at the end of round three, you will have a total of 48 single crochet stitches. So you are gonna wanna continue what we just did in, or not round, I'm sorry, I said round, We this is a row. Row three, so 48 stitches for row three. And you're gonna keep doing the same thing as we did for row three. And you're going to work for till you get to row six. So you're gonna work a total of six rows and you're going to single crochet across and then your chain two space work single crochet chain two single crochet and then just keep going all the way around your row and there's my son sneezing so um, and then i'll meet you back at the end of row six so we're going to chain one we're going to turn and at the end of row six you will have a total of 72 stitches so now as I said before, we're going to get ready to shape the armhole. So we've chained one, we've turned our work, we're going to single crochet right in the same stitch and you're going to single crochet across until you get to the chain two space. All 
Okay, so I've single crocheted and now we are at our chain two space. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to single crochet in the chain two space. Now we are going to chain eight. Eight. So you have your eight chains. Okay, so after we've worked our chain eight, you are going to skip the next 17 single crochet and you're going to single crochet in the next chain two space and we're being serenaded right now my son is playing the guitar so you know <laughs> we're keeping it exciting and fun here <laughs> all right so we've single crocheted in our chain two space so what you're going to want to do is we're going to single crochet across this is would be the back the back to the next chain two space so I'm going to single crochet across the back here. So what we have done here is we've actually created our first armhole right there. Okay, so we're still on row seven. So I have single crocheted across the back. So now I'm at my next chain two space. So we're going to single crochet again in that chain two space and we're going to chain eight once again to create our second armhole. All right, so we have our eight chains. So now we're gonna skip these next 17 stitches and we're going to single crochet in the next chain two space. And then to finish up this row, we are going to just single crochet across. Oops. So we'll single crochet here and you're just gonna single crochet across to finish up row seven here. Okay, so we have finished up row seven. So you can see there's the armhole there. So this is the shoulder area. Kind of helps to see, you know, like how things are taking shape. So you can kind of, you know, it helps you with seeing where the pattern's going. And there's our second armhole there for row seven. And this is the right side. So after the end of row seven, you will have a total of 42 stitches and 42 single crochet and then two chain eight spaces. So now we're going to get ready for row eight and then this will really help establish this is the right side here. So row eight, wrong side. So we've chained one. We're going to turn and you're going to single crochet across until you get to your chain eight space. Okay, so we have single crocheted across. Now we are at our chain eight. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to work one single crochet in each chain. Now you do not want to work around the chain like this. You want to work in each individual chain and you'll see why later on in the pattern. So we're going to work right in that chain. However you like to work in a chain, just put your hook in the chain. So there's stitch one, single crochet, so stitch two, so you have a total of eight, we chained eight, so you want to have a total of eight single crochet in your chain. So there's three, four, five, six and two more left and sometimes the last chain can get a little hidden in there so you want to make sure you don't forget that one so this is seven and stitch eight so we've worked in the chain and now you're just going to continue to single crochet across the back So I'm going to single crochet across the back until I get to the next chain. Okay, so now I've single crocheted across the back. Now I'm at my next chain. So just like we did on the other side, you want to work one single crochet in each of your eight chains. So as you can see, my first one's a little bit crunched up there. So it could be easy to miss that one, but we're not going to. So we're going to get that hook in there and make our first stitch. So single crochet and we're working again in the next chain. So 
six. And it might just help to maybe count aloud or or you could count in your head. <laughs> just make sure you have the eight. So this is stitch number seven and stitch number eight. And now we just need to finish up our row here for row eight. So we'll just single crochet across to finish up row eight. All right, so I finished up my row eight. So we've worked in our chain eight spaces. We single crocheted all the way around. So now we are ready for row nine. Did I say round? I don't know, but it's row eight. I'm sorry. I think I'm used to working in rounds and and then when I'm working in rounds, I say rows, so, you know, <laughs> but it's rows, sorry. All right, so now we are on row nine. And at the end of row eight, you will have a total of 58 stitches. So rows nine through 13, you are just going to single crochet across. So you'll just chain one. You're going to single crochet in the same stitch and then continue to single crochet across. So you'll do that for rows nine through 13. So when you get to the end of 13, I, when I get to the end of row th 13, I will meet you back and we'll get ready to start row 14. Okay, so I have worked my 13 rows and now we are ready to work row 14. So for row 14, you are going to chain three and we're going to turn our work. So this chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. And now we are going to double crochet across the rest of the row. So right here is our first stitch. So we're not gonna work in here. We're gonna work here, the second one. And just work a regular double crochet. And I'm going to continue to double crochet all the way across for row 14. Okay, so we have finished up row 14, so we've double crocheted all the way across, so now we're ready for row 15. So we're going to chain three, turn our work. Now we're back on the right side, and we are going to work a double crochet right in the next stitch there. So now we have two double crochet stitches, because again, this guy counts as a stitch. And we're gonna skip the next two stitches. So this guy and this guy we're skipping and we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next two. So front post, we're working around. So there's our first front post double crochet. And here is our second one. Now we're going to go back and work front post double crochet around the two that we skipped. So this guy, we're just gonna go right back around. So this is working in front. And usually in a pattern, if it's not implied, you work in the front. You can also work in the back, but we're working in the front here. So we're working our front post double crochet. So now we have completed six stitches. So now you are going to single, I'm not single, I'm sorry. You're going to continue to double crochet until you get to stitch 28 of this. So now we are at stitch, we just finished six. So now we're gonna go to stitch seven and we'll finish up at stitch 27 and then we'll be ready to work stitches 28 and 29. So just work until you get to stitch 28. So you'll have a total of 27 double crochets. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I have worked, we have a total of 27 stitches, counting these guys. So 27 stitches right here. So now what we're going to do is we are going to skip these next two and you're going to work front post double crochet around the next two, just like we did in the beginning. And front post around this guy here. And then we are going to work front post double crochet around the two that we skipped. So we're not adding any stitches, we're just kind of moving things around a little bit to create a little bit of cabling here. So now we're going to front post around that guy. And now we're going to continue to just work regular double crochet until you get to your last six stitches. So once you're at your last six, then I will show you what to do next. 
and then we'll finish up row 15. Okay, so now we are at our last six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, just to make sure. So now we are going to skip two stitches and we're gonna work front post double crochet around the next two. So just like we did in the beginning and in the middle of the row here. So now we have to work the stitches that we skipped. Now we want both sides to look symmetrical so for this ones here, we're going to work behind. So before we worked in front, this one's we're going to work behind. So we want our, our cables to curve uh, in opposite directions because they're on two different sides. So it, it'll make sense when you see it finished. <laughs> so to work behind, it's a little bit I call crochet gymnastics or hook gymnastics. So you have your yarn over, you're going to take your hook behind these guys and then just wrap it around there and you kind of have to push those guys away and you work your double crochet. It's a little bit awkward but once you've done a couple of them it's not too bad. So we've got our first one and now we're going to go back and do the same thing and work around the next. So we've got a yarn over working behind those two guys. Find your Here's your stitch right here. So wrap your hook around there, push those guys aside. And it's okay to move things around. These are nice sturdy stitches, so you don't have to worry about messing up your work. You know, just, just push them aside. And then when you're done, you can just kind of, you know, move it back where it needs to be. So we finished that. So now we're just going to finish up this row and work a double crochet and then a double crochet on top of our chain three because it counts as a stitch because we still want to have 58 stitches that's not going to change and we have completed row 15 okay so now we have completed row 15 we're ready for row 16 so we're going to chain three and that again is a wrong side row even rows are wrong side so we have worked our chain three it counts as a stitch we're going to double crochet right in the next stitch and across our next four stitches we are going to be working back post double crochet just across we're not um, working any cabling we're just going to do back post so you're going to yarn over like normal and we're going to because we want it to puff out on the right side that's why you work a back post so insert your hook here and find that stitch and sometimes it's you know if you want to look on the right side so you know that you've got it and then you just finish up oops this yarn wants to split on me here stop don't do that finish up the stitch there so there is our first one and you can even like I'm gonna separate these guys a little bit to find it so I'm yarning over. I even kind of have my finger to help me find it. As I said before, these stitches are quite sturdy. So, you know, you can move them around, beat them up a little bit. It won't hurt a thing. So work another back post. And now we have to work back post around two more. So here's the other one. There we go. Working around both of them. No, we don't want to do that. Kind of hard to do it with around the camera if i had it in my lap it would be a little easier <laughs> but there it is kind of feeling it around with my fingers there to find the stitch so there's that one and then here is our fourth back post double crochet so we've worked four so if you flip it around this side you can see how they're all raised so just what we wanted but we are working on the wrong side so now I'm going to continue to just work my double crochet across until we get to our, so we're going to work 21 stitches until we get to our other post stitches that we worked in the middle of our cardigan here. Okay, so I've worked my, this is 21 double crochet, now I'm at the middle of my cardigan here. So we're going to do the same thing, working back post double crochet across so I'm going to find those stitches that I need the first two 
doing my just a little bit of hook gymnastics here too. But there's the first one and I'm just finding it with my fingers. The second one. Work those back post stitches. They're not my favorites, but you don't have to do too many of them. So here are the other two. So here's this one. And the last guy here. And now I'm going to continue to crochet, double crochet across until I get to my last six stitches and then I will work four back post double crochet and then double crochet in the last two stitches. So I will meet you back. Okay, so I am at the end of row 16 work. I need to work my last four back posts. So I thought I would show those to you again. So I'm just finding those guys with my fingers there and working that back post stitch, back post double crochet. So there is the first one. Let's find the other one. Because they're crossed, sometimes it's hard to find them, but we will find them. And so two more. And now we're just going to crochet, double crochet in our last two stitches. And we will have completed row 16. So now we're at row 17. It's going to be a repeat of row 15. So we're going to chain three. We're going to turn. So I'll show you the first half here. So we've chained three, turn, we're going to double crochet in our next stitch. And we're going to work front post double skip these two guys. So skip this one, this one. Front post double crochet here. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Our next double crochet. And now we're going to front post double crochet around the two that we skipped. So there we go. So you can see we're working on that cable and now we're going to continue to double crochet across till we get to our next cable and we're going to repeat the same thing what we just did here. All right, so we've double crocheted to our next cable section. So we're going to skip the next two. This is in the middle of the cardigan here in the back. So work your front post double crochet around that one, front post double crochet around the next one. And now we're going to work front post double crochet around the two that we skipped. So there's that one. And then we'll work our front post double crochet around this guy. And once you get a couple rows in, then the cabling, you know, really starts to take shape. And you really can see it. The first couple rows, it kind of looks a little like, you know, what's going on here? It's not looking so nice. <laughs> But you have to get a couple rows in to really see it taking shape. So now we're just going to double crochet across until we get to our last cable section. So the last six stitches. Alright, so we're just finishing up row 17. So I'm going to skip my next two stitches. I'm at my last six. Double front post double crochet around the next one. Front post double crochet around this guy. And now we have to work the ones we skipped. So as before, we're going to work behind. So I thought I'd show you that one more time. So we're working behind. So our little hook gymnastics, finding that stitch. Come on. Here we go. And then, oops, here. we're sliding off. The, as I said before, it's not that hard. <laughs> I'm making it look really hard, aren't I? There we go. But if it's right on your lap in front of you, it, it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, so we've got the one. So now we just need to work around this guy. So working behind, using your hook to pick up that stitch and just move those guys out of the way. And work the second one. 
and see everything looks okay and now we just finish up the last two stitches working a double crochet in each of those and then you will have completed row 17 and there's row 17 and you can just kind of smooth things out with your fingers it's not going to hurt a thing okay so now we are ready for row 18 in rows 18 through 23 you're going to repeat rows 16 and 15 alternately so all of the even rows you're going to chain one turn your work and you're going to work your back post double crochet across all of your cable stitches then you'll work double crochet in each of those in your back post double crochet double crochet and your four back post double crochet and then you'll be back on your odd row which is the right side and that's when you work the cabling skipping the stitches and then going back and working your front your front post double crochet so I will meet you back at the end of row 23 okay so I have finished up row 23 so at the end of row 23 you are going to cut your yarn and we are done the bulk of the sweater but we still need to work on the hood the sleeves and the edging so what 75% done maybe <laughs> so we're gonna cut that yarn there and now we're going to work on the hood okay so now we're working on the hood so what you're gonna want to do is you want to have your little coat facing towards you like this and we are going to attach our yarn right at this corner of the neck so it's actually the right front and the reason why we're saying that is because when let's say you know the doll is wearing it this would be the the front the right front for when she, your doll is wearing it just like you know if you were actually wearing a shirt and you're wearing the right front so that's why we call it the right front so I am going to attach my yarn right on top of this foundation single crochet and we are going to attach our yarn and we're going to chain one because we're working on our hood so I'm, I've chained one and I'm going to single crochet right in that same stitch And I'm going to continue to single crochet until I have a total of 36 single crochet. So the same amount, the same amount of foundation single crochets we started with. So we're working 36 single crochet. So I have one, two, three, four, and I'm just going to continue until I have 36 single crochet. And we will end at the left front here okay so I have worked 36 single crochet around the neckline here to start our hood so now we're going to work row 2 so you're going to chain 3 and we're going to turn and now for row 2 we're just going to double crochet all the way across so this counts as our first stitch we're going to work in the next stitch for our second double crochet and just keep working until we have 36 double crochet for row two and row two is a wrong side row so you want to make sure you're working on the wrong side all right so we've completed row two of our hood so now we're going to chain three and turn our work we're on the front side again so the chain three counts as a stitch here so we're going to double crochet in the next stitch there in the next two stitches we are going to skip these two and we're going to work front post double crochet around the next two just like we did on the bottom that squeaky yarn so awesome all right so now we're going to work front post double crochet around the two that we skipped working in the front so there's the first one And here is the second one 
So now we are going to double crochet working even in the next five stitches. Stitch four and in stitch number five we're going to do an increase so that means we are going to work two double crochet in that next stitch. And now we're going to work even in the next four, so one stitch in each. So stitch one, two, three, and stitch four. And now we're going to skip these next two stitches and work front post double crochet around the next two. And we're going to go back and work front post double crochet around the two that we skipped. And now we're going to, we need to mirror what we did on this side over here. So we're going to double crochet in the next four. Working even one stitch in each. So there is stitch number four. And now this next stitch, we're popping in two stitches for the increase for the other side. And we're going to double crochet even in the next five stitches. Keeps wanting to slide off my desk. So let's see, I lost track. So there's one, two, three, four, and stitch number five. So now we're going to skip these two stitches and work front post double crochet around the next two. Now we need to work front post double crochet around these two we skipped and we're going to be working behind. So get that hook in there, push those guys out of the way, and work the front post double crochet. And now we need to do this one here. Okay, so now we have two stitches left. We're just going to double crochet in the last two. And right on top of that chain three and then row three will be complete. So there is row three and we increased here. So we have a total of 38 stitches for row three. So now we'll get ready to do row four. So we're going to chain three Turn our work. This is the wrong side. So we are going to double crochet in the very next stitch. And in all of the post stitches, you want to work your back post double crochet across. We don't need to do any skipping and crossing over, none of that. So we're at now at four post stitches. So we're going to do the back post double crochet. We need to do four of them because there's four post stitches. And you can find the other one. This one wanting to hide. There it is. We've got two more to go. And this is starting our whoops. Something's going on there. This is starting our cabling for the hood here. Just a little bit of a decorative detail. So there we go, we've got our four post stitches and then you're going to double crochet across until you get to your next 
four post stitches so you'll work your back post double crochet double crochet across till you get to your other four post stitches work your back post stitches there and then work your two double crochet on the end so i will meet you back at the end of row four all right so i have completed row four so now we are going to chain three and turn for row five of the hood so there we go and we are going to double crochet in the next stitch here and we're going to skip our next two double crochet this is our post stitch section here so work our front post double crochet the next stitch front post double crochet in the next and go back and work front post double crochet around the ones that we skipped and now we're going to double crochet in the next five stitches So there's stitch four, stitch number five, and work two, double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to double crochet across until we get to our four post stitches here. So now we are at our four post stitches and we're gonna skip the next two and front post double crochet around the next two and then we have to go back and work our two front post double crochets around the ones that we skipped now we're going to double crochet until we have 12 stitches I'm going to count here because I'm not exactly sure how many are 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I need to work, oh, one more. So now we have 12 unworked stitches here. And in our next stitch, we're going to work two double crochet in the next. And I'm going to need more yarn because that's all I've got left. So let me grab some more yarn here. And as you can see, I don't knot my yarn. I don't like knots. Knots are unreliable. Knots can come undone, so we don't do knots. All right, so need to work one more stitch in there for our increase. So you want it the same as the other side. So now we're gonna work five stitches So there is one, two, three, four, and stitch five. And now we're back to our post stitches. So we'll skip these two guys. Work front post double crochet around the ones we skipped. wanting to slide off the desk slippery <laughs> stay up there so now we need to go and work behind these ones so I've got my yarn over my front post double crochet go in and grab it push those guys out of the way the delicate operation when you're working behind And now we're going to double crochet in the last two stitches. And we'll be done row five. And at the end of row five, you will have a total of 40 stitches. So there is row five. So now for row six, it's going to be a repeat of row four. And actually rows four through ten I'm not sure there might be more I have to go check the prototype here I had typed up directions and I think I left something out so I will get back so definitely work ten rows of alternating between rows five and four so we just completed five and now we're gonna work row four where you work 
even in each stitch and when you get to your post stitches you work your back post double crochet just across in each of the four post stitches and then it would be row seven you would work just how we did row five you work your post stitches here double crochet the next five work your decrease and then double crochet across until you get to your post stitches work your little cable section here and then you'll double crochet across till you get to the last 12 stitches and then you will work the the increase in the next stitch and then double crochet across work your skip your two stitches work your front post double crochets around the next two working behind work your front post double crochet and then your two double crochet at the end so yeah work up to 10 rows and I will get back to you and see if that's how many you do indeed work because I need to go check my prototype which is not in the same room as me. So I will meet you back at the end of row 10. Okay, so we're back. We're still working on the hood here and I was able to figure it out. You actually work up to 14 rows, alternating uh, rows five and four or four and five. Your wrong side rows would be row four where you're just working double crochet even and then your back post double crochet. And then row five was the increase rows where you work your cable section and then stitch five stitches and then increase in the next stitch, stitch across to the cable and then you stitch across to your last 12 stitches and then work your increase there, stitch five and then finish up your cable section. Um, so yeah, I've worked up to 14 rows. So this fits my doll's head. I, you know, the doll's head, I guess compared to the body, the proportions, you know, it, it's kind of a big head <laughs> is what I'm trying to say, I guess. So the hood needs to be a little bit larger to accommodate the head. Now uh, we have American Girl dolls, so I don't know the doll dimensions, you know, for the other brands. So if you think that your hood is just way too big, you know, definitely you don't need to work as many rows. Just end on um, an even row. So, you know, let's say, you know, 10 rows is good enough. And, you know, you end on row 10, you're good to go. But we needed 14 here. And we increased up to 48 stitches. So, yeah, just, um, and again, you know, because of the size of the doll's head, your doll's head is smaller. You know, each um, odd row you increase, so you wouldn't have as many stitches. So if you did end on row 10, you would have had a total of 44 stitches. Or if you ended on row um, 12, you would have 46 stitches. So, you know, hopefully that makes sense to you. So now we are going to turn this into a hood. So here we are, it's laid out flat. So what you're gonna wanna do, you wanna have the right sides touching. So this is going to be the front of the hood, your cable section here. You're just going to fold it in half so you've got the, the cable in the back. It's like the spine of the hood there. And you don't need to sew this. So we are going to chain one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch across the top of this hood. So I've chained one. I'm going to turn here and I'm going to insert my hook right on top of that chain three there and then insert into my first stitch there. And we're gonna just slip stitch all those guys together. And we're just gonna continue to do that working in both thicknesses. And again, you wanna have the right sides touching. If you don't like slip stitching, you certainly could sew it if you wanted to. I try to avoid sewing as much as I can. <laughs> I can sew fairly well, hand sew that is. Sewing machines and I, we don't get along very well, but um, hand sewing I can sew quite well. I just don't enjoy it that much. So I try to avoid it if I can. I'd much rather crochet it if I can. <laughs> But sometimes you have to sew, you just can't get around it. But this is one case where you don't have to. 
So I'm going to continue finishing this, stitching this across, and I will meet you back. Okay, so I have finished slip stitching across the top of my hood here. So now we just cut this yarn here. And the bulk of the hood is finished. And you can turn her right side out. And we now have a hood for our little cardi here that we're making. Okay, so we've got the hood finished for the most part. Now we're gonna work on some edging. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is we are going to start at the back. So this part is the seam and you can attach your yarn anywhere in the back. It, it doesn't matter. And the reason why I'm doing it in the back because you know it's not as noticeable and so I'm going to attach my yarn and we also want to attach it with the wrong side facing us right here. So I'm just going to pop my yarn in right there so I'm ready to go. So once you've attached your yarn we're going to chain one and single crochet right in that same stitch. And you're just going to work single crochet all the way around evenly around the whole cardi here or cardigan. So I'm just popping in my single crochet stitches. I'm not going to give an exact stitch count because when you're working on the sides, some people, you know, might pop in a few more stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet across. Now when you get to the corner here, I do suggest putting three single crochet in the corner because you, you know, you want it to make your life a little easier. You don't want it to, um, because we're going to do another uh, round of stitches. So you want to make it easy for the stitches to flow around. If you don't have enough, then it might kind of pull or look a little funny. So you're going to single crochet up the sides. Now what I suggest is you actually count how many stitches you have. So this is the front of your cardigan. So I would count how many you have from you know here to here just because you want both sides when you're looking at it like this to look even. So if you have like 40 from here to here, then just pop in, make sure you have 40 from here to here. What I normally do is I put, once I get past this corner here, is I'll put one single crochet around this double crochet, then I'll put a single crochet here, and you know, cause you don't want them to be too, two stitches might make it a little too bunchy and you don't want that. So you want it nice and even. It's a little bit tricky to, to space them out evenly sometimes when you're working on the edges of the rows. So you just kind of have to play around with it. So yeah, just do the best you can working your stitches, you know, evenly. And then you're going to work around the hood. So all the way around the hood, you're going to have your single crochet and then you'll go back down the side so again have the same amount of stitches if you can and you'll come down to this corner work your three just you know so it gives it a nice curve and a nice look and then it's easy here because you just work in the stitches and then when you get to the end you're going to join in your first stitch and then your first round of your edging will be complete okay so I have worked my single crochet all the way around my little cardi here so I've worked up the sides here and here we are around the hood back around down this side and then continuing around the back and again I did not give an exact stitch number because also if you made a shorter hood then obviously your stitch count would be different so again just stitch them you know as evenly as you can. So I'm just joining with a slip stitch in my first stitch here. And now we're ready for round two. So I'm going to 
chain two and I'm going to turn we're going to work on the right side now and for round two we're just going to half double crochet all the way around so pretty easy well if my yarn didn't split it would be pretty easy <laughs> be careful what you say right Gotta love that Simply Soft yarn. It's a splitter for sure. All right, we're gonna try that one again. There we go. So I'm going to continue to half double crochet all the way around, and then when I get to the end, I'm going to join on top of my chain two, which counts as a stitch, and then cut my yarn and then the edging will be done and we'll get ready to work the sleeves okay so I have finished working my half double crochet all the way around I joined on top of my chain two there and I finished up I cut my yarn so you can see the edging around the front here and around the hood all the way around is all done so now what we're going to do is we are going to work on the sleeves. So what we're going to do is attach the yarn in the middle here of the sleeve. So you want to have your right side facing and somewhere the armpit area here. You're going to attach the yarn. And the reason why we had worked in the chain is so that we can attach our yarn. So just popping in that yarn and we are going to chain one and single crochet right in that same stitch and you're going to continue to single crochet around this armhole here and you will want to work a total of 28 single crochet Oops, I'm getting tangled up in my end there. So I'm going to continue to work 28 single crochet around my armhole here. All right, so I have worked my 28 single crochet all the way around my armhole here, and I'm going to join in my first stitch with a slip stitch. And now we're going to get ready to work round two. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn. Now a lot of times we don't turn with um, when you're working in the round, but we are because we turned in the single crochet rows. So I, I want the pattern to kind of keep with the same look, you know, so it looks a little bit more seamless. So that's why we're going to be turning for this one. So we're turning and we're going to work even for this round. So you're going to work another 28 single crochet. All right, so I have finished up round two. So now we're going to join with a slip stitch in our first stitch and get ready to work round three. So we're going to chain one and we are going to turn. So we're back working on the right side. And now we're going to start doing some decreasing because we want to have some shaping in the sleeve just gives it a nicer look so now we are going to single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in the next five stitches so we're going to be decreasing in a sequence of seven because there's 28 stitches actually we're going to work a total of five stitches I'm sorry I think I said I don't know what I said. <laughs> you know, it's one of those days. So we're single crochet in the same stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. Whoops. Come on, get back there. It's Saturday. You know how Saturdays are sometimes. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've now stitched five. And now we're going to decrease with these two stitches. So how we're going to do that is you are going to insert your hook in the front loop in the next stitch and then insert your hook in the front loop of the next stitch. So this is a little bit different than the typical 
single crochet decrease or together stitch. I just like this way because it looks a little bit um, less bulky, a little more seamless. So you're going to pull through both of those loops. So you have your two loops then yarn over and pull through to finish up your stitch. So now we're going to single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll do another decrease stitch. So I'll show you again. So insert your hook in the front loop of the next stitch and front loop of the next stitch. So you've got your three loops, yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and then yarn over and pull through the other two to finish up your stitch. So just continue to single crochet decreasing around. So working five stitches and then doing your decrease or together stitch and then uh, you will finish up your round by joining in your first stitch. So I'm going to finish that up. Alright, so I've finished up round three, our decrease round. So after round three you will have a total of 24 stitches. So now we're going to join in our first stitch and we'll get ready to work round four. So for round four, you're just going to work even. So chain one, turn your work, and you're going to work 24 single crochet all the way around for round four. All right, so I have finished up round four, working even. I already joined and I chained one and I turned. So now I'm back on the right side here. So now we are going to decrease again for round five. So we're going to, we chained one, we're gonna single crochet, in the same stitch there. So work three more single crochet stitches for a total of four. Okay, so now we are going to do the decrease again for stitches five and six. So front loop, front loop, yarn over, pull through both of those loops and then yarn over, pull through the last two. So now you're going to single crochet again in the next four and then work the same decrease stitch for the next two stitches. So I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around for round five. Okay, so I've just finished up round five. So there's another decrease round or together stitch. I've, I learned them as decrease stitches uh, I know, I guess the new thing is together stitches, but same thing. So, okay, so after round five, you are going to have a total of 20 stitches. And now for rows six through 22, you're going to work even. So you're just going to chain one, turn, and single crochet around your 20 stitches. And you'll stop at the end of round 22. So I will meet you back when I get to uh, the end of round 22 and then we'll be almost done the first sleeve here. Okay, so we are getting ready to finish up this first sleeve. So you will want to have worked 20 rounds of single crochet and 20 stitches. I think I said 22 and I apologize, it's 20. So when you get to round 20, you're going to want to join in the back loop. So round 20 is a wrong side round. And now we're going to chain three and turn our work. So we're finishing up these sleeves. So for round 21, you're going to want to double crochet around working in the front loops. So this is going to create a little cuff and it's just going to make it easier to fold back the cuff by working in the front loop. So I'm working in the front loop of the first one and you're going to want to work two rounds of double crochet. So for round 22 you'll chain three, you'll turn and you will just double crochet all the way around and then you can cut your yarn. So I'm going to work round 21 in the front loop and then round 22 as I said you're going to double crochet around you'll work in both loops so I will meet you back at the end of round 22. All right, so I am finishing up round 22, working my last double crochet here. 
So round 22, we're working in both loops. Round 21, front loop. And we're gonna join on top of that first chain three and then the first sleeve will be done. Okay, so I have finished up round 22. I joined on top of my first chain three there. So now once you're done, you can cut the yarn for that one sleeve. And these scissors are not that sharp. <laughs> Okay, so I am finished that guy off. And so what you're gonna do with your sleeve is you fold it back. That's why we worked in the front loop. And now you have created your little cuff. So there is the one sleeve. So we're going to wanna repeat the same directions for the second sleeve. Okay, so I have finished both sleeves of the little cardigan here. So now we need to finish this up so what you're going to want to do next is take two buttons and these, so I would say about a half inch across, these might be a little bit bigger than that. And then you're going to sew them on the front. So I would suggest doing that first and then I will show you how to make the button loops. All right, so I have sewed the buttons onto the front here. And now, and now you could even use smaller buttons if you wanted to put like three of them on, but two I think is, is fine. So now we need to work the button loops so that we can actually button our little cardi here. So what you're going to want to do to make the button loops and however many buttons you made is however many you'll need. So I made two, so I, I have two buttons here, so I'm going to need to make two. So we, what you're going to want to do is chain 11. So I chained 11 and you will want to slip stitch in the second chain from your hook and slip stitch all the way across. So you will have 10 slip stitches and you can work in your chain, you work in your chain however you want to. So you're going to make two of these. So I'm going to finish this one up. And when you've reached the end, you're going to want to have about that much for sewing just to give yourself enough. So this is, you know, one instance where we have to sew. All right, so we're almost done our sweater here. So we've got the button sewed on. Now I've made my two loops here. So here is both of them. So what you're going to want to do is you want to lay your sweater on a flat surface and just make sure everything is matched up here. So like the neckline here is matched up because you want to sew on your loops so that you know it goes nicely straight across. You want to have this part of the sweater, the fronts touching nicely. So just, you know, make sure everything looks pretty even there. And then you're going to, I've already threaded, I've got my little yarn needle here, so threaded the one end. And I'm going to take the one end and poke it through like that to form the loop. And then I'm going to do it, because see it sticks out a little bit like that. So I'm just going to poke it through again. So we get it nice and secure. And now I'm going to get ready to line it up. What I, what I usually do is I'll just put it around the button. And then... You want to have a little bit of tension with that. So that's why you want to have everything lined up nicely. We're looking pretty good. And then you'll just poke your needle to where you're going to want to sew this. So I've got a little, I like to take the button, put a little bit of tension on it because you want to have some tension on it so that it, you know, it fits well and looks pretty sharp on your doll. So there, we're going to stick the needle right there, poke it through, 
and then you can take it off the button to finish sewing since we've figured out. So we've got that started on there. So I'm just going to finish sewing that one, which I will do off camera and I'm going to sew the other one on. Okay, so I have sewed on both of my loops here, my button loops. So you can see right there and right there, they're sewed on. So as I said before, you want to finish weaving in any loose ends. So I have a couple here that I need to finish um, on the sleeves and I will give this a very gentle block and then it will be done. So I hope you enjoyed this project and I thank you so much for watching.